Hi, it's Kristen Brogan, and I'm gonna take you through a dynamic power yoga flow that's gonna be super fun, it's gonna build some heat and get you moving. So let's get started. Following this flow, we'll also go through just a really calming meditation to allow you to unwind and de-stress and just let everything go and let all of that hard work really soften into the body. So we're gonna start with us on our backs and we're gonna come into Supta Baddha Konasana. So our knees are gonna be wide, the soles of our feet are gonna to touch together. And we're just gonna to start to connect with our breath. Now throughout this practice, I'll be cueing your breath with your movement for a total mind-body flow. Maybe rest your hands at your side. Just let everything go here. This is your time for you to recharge, to rejuvenate. And as you start to connect with your breath, inhale through the nose. Let the belly fill with air. Exhale through the nose. Let the belly fall. If you want, press one hand on your belly, inhaling through the nose, letting your belly press against your hand. Exhale through the nose, let the belly fall. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fall, and just start to breathe naturally. Tabletop pose 
and reach your right arm long, sticking the left leg out and back. Just kind of fire up your core here. Pointing the toes down towards your mat. Bringing the hand and knee back down to your mat. Other side, reaching your left arm out, right leg back. planning it back down here. Let's create a little bit of heat here in the core. Bringing your right arm forward, left leg back. Inhale, squeeze your right elbow to your left knee. Squeeze nice and tight. Exhale out. Inhale, squeeze in. Exhale out. One last time. Inhale, squeeze in nice and tight. Exhale out. Plant the hands down. Other side, reach the left arm out. Right leg back. Building some heat in the core. Squeeze your left elbow to your right knee. Exhale, reach. Inhale, squeeze in. Exhale, long. Inhale, squeeze in nice and tight. Exhale up. Planting the hands down here. Bending your toes underneath, curling them under here. Just lifting up the knees slightly up, really squeezing that core. Engaging the abs, the low back. And from here, slowly press up into a down dog. So reaching those heels towards the ground, hips are lifted. Chest squeeze towards the top of your thighs. Looking between your legs. And start to pedal out the feet here. One and then the other. Coming back into a down dog, reconnecting with your breath. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. One more, just like that. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Bend your knees, look forward, come to the top of your space. Take a wrap down pose here. So maybe feet are a little bit wider than hip width. And curl your head under, grab onto your opposite elbows and maybe sway side to side. Letting that spine relax. Shaking out the head, no, and yes. Always connecting with the breath with every movement today. down here. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, flat back, hands press against the shins, looking forward. Exhale, Uttanasana, round down. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, reach high, look high. From here, grab onto your left wrist with your right hand, Reach up towards the sky and bend over to your right side. Really stretching out the spine, the side body here. Inhale back to center. Other side, grabbing onto your right wrist with your left hand. Reach up, bend over to your left side. Stretching out that side body. Inhale, back up to center. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Coming into a high plank, hold here for just a moment. From here, reach your right knee to your right elbow. Reach it back. Right knee, left elbow. 
reach it back, right knee, center. See if you can touch your nose to your knee. Reach it back, plant the right foot down, other side. Lifting up the left leg, reach your left knee to your left elbow. Reach it back, left knee, right elbow. Reach back, left knee comes to your center. See if you can squeeze it in towards your nose. Reach it back, coming into high plank. Rock forward onto the toes. Lower all the way down to the belly, nice and slow. From here, we're gonna take our elbows right underneath our shoulders, and we're gonna take a swing, the sphinx pose. So you're looking forward. Loosening up the spine a little bit here, stretching everything out. From here, look forward. Reach your right ear to your right shoulder. Give yourself a nice little neck stretch. Coming back into center. Left ear, left shoulder, other side. Back to center. Rounding the chest towards your mat. Plant your hands alongside your ribs. Press yourself up into high plank. Exhale, down dog. If you've lost your breath, reconnect here. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, come to the top of your space. Inhale, Ardha Bhutanasana, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach high, Urdhva Hastasana. From here, take a nice little back bend, cactus your arms back, chest out. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Bhutanasana, flat back. Plant your hands coming into high plank. Wrap forward onto the toes. Lower all the way down to your belly one last time. Low cobra, keeping your hands where they are. Elbows pressed in against your side. Lift your chest off the mat. And if you want to challenge yourself here, maybe lift your hands off the mat. Really squeeze the lower back. Plant the hands down, round the chest. Press up one more time into Cobra. Exhale, round down. Pressing into high plank. Exhale, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Lowering those heels as close to the mat as you can. If it feels better to bend your knees, slightly bend your knees. You want yoga to feel good to you. There's no one right way. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Come to the, to the top of your space. Inhale, Ardha Bhutanasana, flat back. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, Ardha Tasasana, reach high. Exhale, cactus those arms back. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Bhutanasana. Exhale, plant the hands. Take a step back into high plank. Rock forward onto your toes. Take your chaturanga here. You're lowering your elbows halfway down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Maybe you want to hop step to your front of your space. If you're hopping, really lift, bend your knees and lift your hips up and just take a gentle hop forward. Inhale, Ardha Bhutanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. From here, coming into chair pose, reach those arms out long. Maybe you bring your hands to heart center here and hold for just a moment. Inhale, reach over to your right side, connecting your left elbow with your right knee. Maybe looking over your right shoulder. Back to center, other side here, right elbow connects with your left knee. Back to center, 
arms reach high. Exhale, forward fold, let it go, shake out the legs. Inhale, Ardha Bhutanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, take your chaturanga. You're always welcome to meet back in down dog if this is too much. Rock forward onto the toes, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, reach the right leg high. Inhale your right knee in towards your chest. Reach it back. Inhale, step it all the way through between your hands. Take that high crescent lunge. Relax those shoulders down and back. Breathe into it. Clasp the hands behind your back. Puff out the chest. Take humble warrior where you connect your right shoulder with your right knee and you bend forward. Keeping the clasp behind your back. Inhale, reach high, arms come up toward the sky. Exhale, plant the hands alongside your foot. Take a step back to meet in down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, swing it in towards the nose, squeeze it in. Step it back. Plant it between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge, high lunge. Relax the shoulders. Take the bind behind your back. Puff out your chest. Inhale, bend forward, connecting your left shoulder with your left knee. Reaching high into crescent lunge. Planting the hand alongside your foot. Take a step back into down dog. Inhale, bend your knees. Look forward, come to the top of your space. Inhale, Ardha Bhutanasana, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose here. Reach high. Exhale, airplane those arms back. Looking forward. Weight comes more in the center of your foot, maybe towards your toes here. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, airplane those arms back. One last time, reach high, hold here. Exhale, airplane those arms back. Reach high, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, Ardha Bhutanasana. Exhale, high plank. Taking your chaturanga, rocking forward onto your toes, lowering halfway, elbows nice and tight. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. From here, we'll build onto that sequence, lifting our right leg high. This time, we'll step our right foot between our hands, coming into crescent lunge. Clasp the hands behind your back, puff out the chest, humble warrior, right shoulder connects with your right knee. Inhale back up, reach high. From here, airplane those arms back, coming into the top, the weight in your front foot, pressing into warrior three with airplane arms, up dog in the chest. Maybe you want to extend those arms forward, full warrior three here. Point your toes down towards the mat, hold for one more breath. Exhale, slowly step it back, coming into crescent lunge. Planting the hands down, taking a step back, meeting in down dog. Reconnect with your breath for just a moment. Inhale, lift the left leg high.
Step it all the way through between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Clasp the hands behind your back. Puff out the chest. Humble warrior on your left side. Left shoulder connects with your left knee. Inhale, reach high. From here, coming into the top foot, airplane those arms back. Lift up that right leg, up dog in the chest. Warrior three with airplane arms. Extend those arms forward. Point the toes down towards your mat. Taking a step back, nice and slow, coming back into crescent. Plant the hands back down. Take your down dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, come to the top of your space. Inhale, Ardha Bhutanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Reach high, arms up. Flush everything out with a cactus arms. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Bhutanasana. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Uttanasana. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift. Arch up the spine. Exhale, plant the hands. Take your chaturanga. Rock forward onto the toes. Lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. Shoulders down and back. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, reach the right leg high. Exhale, step it through between your hands. This time we're coming right into warrior two pose. So a nice, more relaxing pose, resting those shoulders down and back. Breathe into this pose, looking forward, gazing over your front fingertips. Right knee is bent 90 degrees. Take a deep breath here. Reverse your warrior, looking up at your right palm, stretching over your straight leg here. Exhale, extended side angle. Maybe you wanna connect your right elbow on your right knee, reach the left palm up. If you wanna challenge yourself a little bit, and go a little deeper, you can bring your right fingertips along your right foot and look up. Inhale back up into warrior two. From here, straighten out your front leg. Dip your left hip back. Reach, reach, reach forward as far as you can. Bring your right palm on your right shin. Or bring your palm to a block. Just touch something, maybe your mat. Look up at your left palm. Triangle pose, nice deep hamstring stretch here. Slowly bring your left hand to your left hip. Maybe take a nice little step forward with your left foot and slowly come into half moon where you're reaching your right palm down. You're lifting your left leg high left arm reaches high. So find your balance here. Maybe you're holding on to a block or you're reaching for the floor. Challenging yourself in this balance pose. One more breath. Taking a step back to knee in warrior two. From here, straighten both legs Toes come a little bit pigeon-toed here. Hands come to the hips, and we're just gonna bend forward, prasarata, wide-legged forward fold. Hands come to your mat or the floor. Just let everything go here.
Slowly bring those hands to the hips. Come up one vertebrae at a time. Rotate both toes towards the front of your space. Cartwheel your hands down. Maybe just take a step here for a moment where you're bringing your left foot a little bit closer to your right foot and pyramid pose where you're really stretching out the hamstrings here. Just hold for a moment. Inhale, step your left foot to meet the right. Forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Bhutanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, reach high, look up at the hands, flush it out, cactus your arms back. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, coming into high plank, taking your chaturanga, lowering down halfway. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, reach your left leg high. Exhale, step it through between your hands, coming, opening up into warrior two, gazing over your front fingertips. Left knee is bent about 90 degrees. Relaxing the shoulders down. Reverse your word. Inhale, look up at your left palm. Exhale, extended side angle. Connect your left knee with your left elbow. Reach your right arm high. If you want to deepen this stretch, you can bring your left fingertips along your left foot. Look up at the right palm. Inhale back up into warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Dip your right hip back. Reach forward as far as you can and connect your right, your left palm with your left shin. Reach the right hand high. Triangle pose, a nice deep hamstring stretch. Breathing into this pose. Right hand comes to the right hip. Take a step in with your right foot, setting yourself up into half moon. So left palm comes down to the floor, lifting your right foot up. Right palm reaches high. Maybe you wanna reach your left palm or left hand to a block or to the floor. Hold for one more breath. Slowly step back into warrior two. Straighten both legs, pigeon your toes just slightly in. Clasp those hands behind your back, puff out the chest. Bend forward, prasarata, wide-legged forward fold with the bind. Opening up the chest, stretching out the shoulders, shaking out the head. Clasp the hands, bring them down to the mat. Hands come to your hips, slowly come up one vertebrae at a time. Point both toes toward the front of your mat. Take a step in with your back foot just slightly and press your hands down along each side of your foot. Pyramid pose, stretching out your hamstrings. Slowly inhale your right foot to connect with your left. Forward fold here. Inhale, Ardha Bhutanasana, flat back. 
exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Reach high, arms come up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, reach high, hands come together and bring your hands to heart center here. So come to the top of your space. And from here, we're gonna take some nice grounding poses. So starting with tree pose, where we keep our left foot rooted. We're gonna bring either our right foot into a kickstand or all the way up into full tree, where we're taking the right bottom of our sole of our foot and pressing against into our left thigh. So really press here, find your balance, find your dristi, that central spot of focus. Gaze at something that's not moving and just start to connect with your breath in this grounding pose. Maybe you want to grow your branches, grow your tree. Sway your branches in the wind. Do whatever feels good just to challenge you a little bit. Find a little discomfort. Hands come back to heart center. Planting that right foot down. Other side this time, keeping your right foot rooted, coming into a kickstand with your left foot or bringing yourself all the way up into full tree pose where you're pressing the bottom of the sole of your left foot against your right thigh. Really press here, find your balance. And start to grow your branches, grow your tree. Sway it in the wind. energizing pose that also is a nice grounding pose is dancer pose. So let's set up for dancer. Left foot is rooted down and what we're going to do is we're going to take our right hand out like a tray and we're going to grab the inside edge of our right foot. Left arm reaches high and as we bend forward focus on kicking your right heel away from your head setting up for full dancer pose. Up dog in the chest, hips are square to the floor, kick, kick, kick away from your head. Reach forward. Hold here. One more breath. Inhale. Hold for your exhale. And coming back up. Nice job. Right foot is grounded this time. Other side. Left hand comes out like a tray. Grab the inside edge of your left foot, reach your right arm high. As you bend forward, kick your left heel away from your head. Kick, 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 bend forward, up dog in the chest. Hips stay square to the floor. Hold for one more inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, reach those arms up. Flush it out, cactus those arms. Reach high, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Bhutanasana, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands. Take one last Chaturanga here. Rocking forward onto the toes, lowering halfway. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Last down dog here. Rock forward into high plank, lower all the way down to your belly here. Setting up for locust pose. So maybe chin rests on your mat, arms come behind you. And as you lift your hands away from your mat, lift your legs off the floor. Lift as high as you can. Gazing just slightly in front of you. Inhale up a little bit more. One more inhale. And lower down, exhale. Connect your left ear with your mat. Maybe windshield wiper those legs. And coming back. 
move to center. Chin connects with your mat, setting up for locust pose with a bind. So lifting your chest off the mat with a bind behind your back, lift up your legs nice and high. Working your entire core here, gazing forward. Inhale, a little bit higher. One last inhale, a little higher. Exhale, lower your right ear down to the mat. Windshield wiper your legs. Let that low back go. And bring your hands to your chest level, right next to your chest. Press up into a table. Swing your legs in front of you and come right into boat pose where your legs are straight, your palms are facing up towards the sky. Arms reach high. Lower those arms, lower the legs, low boat. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, low boat. Three more, just like that. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, low boat. Inhale high, exhale lower. One last time, inhale high bow, exhale lower, come all the way down to your back. Setting up for bridge pose here, bend your knees, make sure that you can tickle the backs of your heels, make sure you have a good distance where your heels are right underneath your knees. Palms press into your mat, lift your hips up towards the sky. kind of how we started class. And we're taking our bridge with Supta Baddha Konasana feet and legs where we lift our hips off the mat, keeping those knees wide. And lower back down. From here, let's take a reverse pigeon pose where we're looping our right heel onto our left knee and pull the back of your left thigh in towards your chest. So really stretching the glutes here, the piriformis, the low back. And breathing into this, maybe pulling a little bit deeper, pulling that left knee in towards your chest. Or if you wanna press on, just gently to your right knee, give yourself a deeper stretch. Slowly lower down, switching sides. Left knee comes onto the right knee. Left foot comes onto the right knee. Squeeze that right thigh in towards your chest. As deep as you want to make it, maybe pressing onto your left knee, your left hand. long here. Grab your right knee in towards your chest and just stretch out over to your left side. Nice supine twist. Let it all go.
feel like you need more energy today, face those palms toward the sky. But if you need more grounding, face the palms towards the ground. And reconnect with your breath, that place of power here. your eyes, your eyelids, your cheekbones, unclench your jaw, relax your shoulders down and back. Let your hands soften into your mat. Feet fall wide. And start to visualize yourself in a relaxing place. Maybe here on your mat or somewhere that brings you ease and comfort. Place that brings you joy. And here may you be healthy. May you be happy. May you live with ease and comfort. that we can always find this place when we connect with our breath. In the present moment, where nothing else matters. Sometimes all we need is just a little silence, knowing that silence is the best remedy for everything. So I invite you to really soak in that silence and really connect with your space. Start to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes and bite a little bit more movement into the body. A little bit more awareness. Shaking out the head. Laying out the ankles. And 
from your knees and towards your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Thank yourself for taking this time for you. Rock onto your right side into fetal pose. Resting your head on your arm like a pillow. This pose signifies a new start. Pose of rebirth. And inhale, slowly press yourself into a seat, keeping your eyes closed. Hands come to heart center. Take one cleansing breath together. Exhale all your air out. Inhale, all of your air in. Exhale, open mouth, let it go. Thank you for sharing your practice with me, your energy, your light, your love. I invite you to go share it with the world. that you can always come back to this space. Bow forward and say namaste.